You it is, it is your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be going over and talking about the new Galaxy Opal Bam Adebayo added into NBA 2K23, my team, and also just mentioning briefly Michael Red. The main video is gonna be talking about Bam Adebayo, which we know kind of when he's going to be available, right? He's going to be available on Friday, right? Because we get a new player added every weekday until December 30th. So I, until December 30th. So I think December 30th, we're going to see one as well. It's what it should be at least. But we knew that it was going to be Bam out of Bayou. He, he got released a while ago, okay? He did. But... We didn't know how good he would be. We didn't know the stats and badges of the card. We just knew it was Bam out of Bayou, and I didn't know if I should tell you guys the card was going to be good or, you know, if I could kind of limit your guys' expectations. But here's what I will say. I've said all along, okay, that these players are good if you don't have every card in the game, okay? So if you don't have, you know, the Giannis's, if you, at the two, if you don't have, you know, Michael Jordan, right? Bradley Beal was useful. If you didn't have Anthony Davis, Giannis, then Jaron Jackson Jr. was, uh, you know, uh, was useful. So, all in all, guys, even with the Michael Red, we've seen where all these cards, if you are no money spent or balling on a budget, are really solid. Like, even this Michael Red. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say Michael Red is the best card in the game, but look at his hot spots i'm pretty sure his release is going to be solid that's something we'll have to we'll have to look at because i at least personally don't know you know what balmero's release looks like but i mean all around looks pretty solid for michael red too and so what i'm saying is this before we break down really bam out of bio this set's been really good for budget ballers because you got bradley beal jerry stackhouse jaron jackson jr bam out of bio maybe we'll see a point guard tomorrow and for Bam, 84 three ball, 90 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk, decent ball handle, 85 speed acceleration, 88 lateral quickness, great interior perimeter. Playmaking wise, you give him unpluckable, he's got everything else. Defensively, has every badge in the game. Shooting wise, has what he needs. Can't get limitless, but who really cares? Finishing wise, Hall of Fame bully, master, post spin technician. I mean, this card is pretty good, okay? This card has zero flaws for a free opal, and that's true. Okay, that's true. People want to say, okay, his jump shot is on normal timing. His jump shot is not any slower than a guy's like Anthony Davis. Now, with that being said, I don't like the Anthony Davis comparison because Anthony Davis is going to be better than Bam Adebayo. He just is, okay? That's just a given fact. But Bam compared to, let's say, like a Thurl Bailey, let's say like a Jaron Jackson, he's better than Jaron. Thurl's a little tougher because Thurl's release is good and Thurl's a little bit taller. But Bam is really good. Now, is his best position the power forward position or the center position? Definitely the power forward position, 100%. Why? Well, if you give him Monty Williams, the perimeter goes up to a 93, 90 speed. I mean, yes, his rebounding goes up a little bit as well. But I'm just saying it like this, guys. At the four, he's going to be really good. And he can play the five. But if you have Jaron Jackson Jr. and Bam at the four and five, your front court is fine. Okay, it is really, really fine. And so what I'm trying to tell you guys is, even if you're just starting the game today, you get a, bam, a front court of Bam and uh, and, and Jaron Jackson Jr. A back court, or you know, at the three and four, you go Bradley Beal, Mike Miller, and then maybe at the point guard position, you pick up the the, the cheap Markel Fultz. You've got a really good squad. You really do. And that's what I'm trying to get across to you guys is that. Even if for you guys, you don't think, you know, BAM is next level good, you guys better appreciate what 2K did here. Because this card is free. He comes with Clamp Breaker, cold, uh, Quick First Step, comes with Masher, comes with Anchor, Box Out Beast, Brick Wall Clamps, Interceptor, Pogo Stick. I'm going to show you guys. Because if you don't think BAM is special, how many cards in the entire game, and I'm going I'm to do this because you guys need to see, come with, I'm just going to throw th four badges out there gold quick first step and uh and then we got to give him hall of fame interceptor here's the list there's your list even if we and, and hall of fame interceptor is important even if we take away quick first step you got tim duncan patrick ewing and bam out of bio that is a special list that is a special 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 list and bam is gonna shoot the ball way better than tim duncan and patrick ewing 
I am really, really, really happy and really grateful for what 2K did with Bam. Now, again, for me, this is this is the question. And and again, it's gonna be a lot of how does Bam play for me? But I think you can have this comparison. Giannis's player build is obviously better. Bam's gonna shoot the three ball compared to Giannis, who doesn't shoot the three ball. Obviously, Giannis's playmaking is better, his speed's better. I think Giannis is better. But we also got to consider right now, at the time I'm recording this, Giannis Antetokounmpo is 400,000 MT for a base Giannis. That's not even talking about a Giannis with all the Hall of Fame badges you guys might be wanting. That is a base Giannis, okay? And so, yeah, when you're looking at Bam, who is free, who doesn't, the big thing for Bam, and I can't phrase this enough, he doesn't need a ton of badges. Yes, Unpluckable is still the key badge that he is missing. So if you want to make some MT, Unpluckable is probably going to go up in price. I'm just throwing that out there to you guys. I'm not telling you to snipe it and resell it. But just know Unpluckable today probably is going to be really, really, really expensive. So I just seen a gold Unpluckable for 10000 When it's already going for 19000 yeah. Give me that. I'll turn around, make at least 5000 MT on it and not think twice about it. Okay, That's what I'm doing right now. Because look, Bam is going to need Unpluckable because otherwise you're going to get plucked a lot and it's just not going to be a recipe for success. But outside of the Unpluckable badge, you really don't need to give him anything else. And that's important because you don't want a free card who you're going to have to turn around and spend 100,000 MT on. And honestly, even if you don't give him Gold Unpluckable, if you give him, you know, Bronze Unpluckable, he's probably going to be just fine. And so for me, that's what I'm looking at for, for Bam, right? Is he the best card in the game? No, he's not the best card in the game. But is he a really, really good card for free? Absolutely. He is an absolutely incredible card for free in my team. And the grind to get him isn't bad. And you get a lot of good cards along the way. Michael Red, Jaron Jackson Jr., Bradley Beal. I mean, even that Amy Michael Cooper is really solid as well. So if you haven't started the grind, should you start it? I mean, if, you, if you're new to the game, I say yes. If you are absolutely new to the game, why would you not start it, right? Why would you not start the, 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 the grind for Bam Adebayo, who is a really good and really solid card in mind? That's personally what I would recommend doing. Now, again, if you have the best squad in the game, if you have AD, if you have Giannis and you're not a grinder, it's not like you need Bam. But I'm telling you guys, he can play a role for you guys. He really can. There's not many flaws in the card. And especially defensively, I know he's only 6'9" but he is going to compete at that highest level for you. And his release is easy to green too. So, I mean, there's more pros than cons with Bam. Honestly, there's really no downside of the card outside of, yes, he is indeed going to need that unpluckable badge. But that is going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. I need to know your thoughts down below in the comments. Do you guys think Bam is good? Were you guys expecting more? That's what I want to see. WAD clone. I'm not surprised the nephews are crying, but this card is elite. Nah, this card is good. He, he, he's, he's really good. Thought the defense would be better. Um, <laughs> his defense is great, man. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.